Well, pizza's done. Belly's full. Uh, it's fuck it Friday, but we're going to do a six pack. How's that sound? <laughs> we got a six pack of various, anywhere from a Pilsner to a double IPA to a milk chocolate cho milk stout. Um, yeah, chocolate milk stout. So yeah. let's get into it, huh? <laughs> First one is from Great Notion. It's a dry hop Pilsner. It's pretty cool. Great Notion has some awesome labels. Um, do I need, really need to go in much depth? 5.8% alcohol. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Dry hop Pilsner with Citra and Matuiko hops. Matuiko. Matuiko. Wow. Yeah. Right the cool yeah. thing about Great Notion and any of these that have a label on the outside of the can, you can peel it off and put it on your kegerator. That's so amazing. That's I awesome. never knew. Here. Why, thank you. Ladies first. I knew I had big tits for a reason. <laughs> All right. All right. Definitely clear. Looks good. Oh. <laughs> right off the bat, you can smell the hops. Tropical like. Oh yeah, it's totally tropically. Tro tropically. <laughs> tropically. <laughs> Almost like a pineapple. Yeah. 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 It goes well mm. with this can. Boy, yeah. That smells good. That's a pilsner. It does smell good. Yeah. That's a, a dry hopped pilsner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, collaboration with friends of Highland Park Brewery. Dedicated to all the working cats out there. Oh, it's good. It's got, it's very, very floral to mm -hmm. me. It's almost like that. It has a creamy mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. and it's very nice. Like yeah, a little tingle in it, mm -hmm. like a pilsner, mm -hmm. like on the yeah. front of the tongue. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That is good. It's, it's, it's almost like a, I hate saying it, I, I reference the weirdest damn crap, mm -hmm. but if you're going in and you're walking through a crowd mm -hmm. and some old lady had way too much perfume and got oh, a little yeah, bit in yeah. your mouth, and you get that perfumey, <laughs> flowery, <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> yeah, it's very floral. Oh. Boy, that's good. But what's really weird is it's so floral on the tongue, but very citrus or pineapple-y. In the nose. On the nose, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very crazy. And I, I'm sitting here looking at a tropical can. And <laughs> okay. God, the nose is wonderful on this. I really like that. You know, I had a... Uh, you could... I wouldn't believe it was a Pilsner. No. If no. I would have drank that, pale I would have said, nah, yeah, pale. Mm-hmm. I had a... Uh, Gluten free of all things, gluten no, free, great. and I don't do many gluten frees. But there's a great one in Mac. Oh my brewery, gosh! So. Yeah, yeah, and uh, was it? Uh, I can never remember. Yeah, the name I'm not of sure. It. But anyway, they have a a beer that was down at the local tap room, and it was <sighs> Pina Colati or something like that. It's some weird name, but <laughs> as soon as you put it up to your nose, all you smell was like fresh pineapple, and once you took a drink. All you tasted was coconut. Coconut, yeah. It was the Perfect. weirdest Perfect. thing in the world. And I couldn't drink a lot of it. It was a little, a little sweet for me. Uh, to me, gluten-free beers taste a little flat, kind of. It's got, they've got a very yeah. flat yeah. flavor to me. But it, the, the pineapple on here smells a lot like what I had before. I got you, I got you, yeah. But not as strong as that mm. one. That one, it was literally like putting your nose in the middle mm. of a damn fresh pineapple. Mm. It was crazy. This one's really close, though. Yeah, this one is it. Easy drinking. Hard to believe it's a Pilsner. No. It's almost, I don't want to say too full flavor for a Pilsner, but... It's, it's, very, it's very full flavor for a Pilsner, but the, 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 the bitterness and stuff go away quick. Yes, yes. It kind of evaporates off very, the tongue. Very light. I'm not sure I could drink a lot of them. Um, it's, it reminds me of the hazy beers, but a clear Pilsner. Yeah, it's very, it's very odd. Like you know, the flavor and nose profile of a hazy beer. Yeah, when I think of a hoppy pilsner, I think of Ten Barrels Out of Office, mm. which is a phenomenal hoppy pilsner. Mm. But they just got that balance of it's really... It's a different kind of hoppiness. Than yeah, that. yeah, it's way different. This is definitely 100% huh. tropical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're in Hawaii when you drink this. Mm. Like, like I, I said, must be getting some money. My right mm. hand's itching. So. Like I said, I think one can would probably do it for me, though. Yeah, um, I, 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 could, I couldn't go all out it's on It's not what I want in a Pilsner. No, 
No, no. no. When, when my mind says Pilsner, I'm thinking it's going to be lighter, crisper. Yeah. It's going to be really easy drinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not quite as much, but really good flavor. More grain flavor I, than hot flavor. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you can get that nice nuttiness. I would almost palette. label this as a pale ale if yeah. you wanted to sell it. But it's a great beer. It's very, I'm very I mean, good. <laughs> Mm. It's amazing how bitter it is right on the tongue, right as mm -hmm. soon as you put it in your mouth, and then it just like fades away fast. Very, very. But fast. if you didn't have that little bitterness, I think it'd be like over blah. Yeah, it'd yeah. Just be blah, <laughs> I guess that's the easiest way to say it. So overly blah. <laughs> but no, excellent beer though. Very I'm good. Gonna, mm. I'm gonna rinse my cup out because I see another one coming. <laughs> yeah, I just I couldn't drink a lot of it. With a passion for hops and the, yes, please, and the patient for sours. Right on. Patience for sours. Well, you have that to would have... Exp explain the pineapple, mm -hmm. a little tartness with that pineapple and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's not that it's a sour beer. It's just you have to have the patience a sour beer takes to make. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. You know. I don't know. Still smells like pineapple mm -hmm. with water. Good thing our next one's that. Tropical hazy, so yeah, it goes right with it, doesn't it? <laughs> Love the can, beautiful can here. I'll let you read. Right. You got better eyeballs than me. Uh, Kells Brewery, it's like an Irish kind of brewery. It's an Irish pub, yeah, yeah. yeah. Irish roots, Oregon brewed, um, up in Portland, I do believe, right? Portland, mm -hmm. Seattle, and they got one more mm -hmm. location down in California. Uh, Tropical Hazy IPA, brew. This one's brewed in Portland. It says mm -hmm. six point eight percent alcohol. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, an Irish man lost at sea crashes into a tropical paradise experience aromas of fresh peeled citrus, there's something on the can, and juicy tropical nosed hops, given the fragrance of passion fruit, tangerine, and guava leading to an ambrosial finish. That's a weird one. Ambrosial. But pretty cool can. Beautiful can. Yeah. Nice. I like, I like right. it. You know, I, I picked that one up because mm. I've had Kale's Irish Red many, many yeah. times. They make a great Irish Red. And uh, I said, man, I've never had anything else. I'm going to try it. This is good. I'm good for now. I'm... That's like earlier we split a can of... Cool shit. Mm -hmm. I, I got this much. <laughs> I got this much. Uh, I don't pick up a lot. Bonus. No, not a lot. It's it's very. Mm -hmm. It's uh, that's. <laughs> if we would have started with this, we wouldn't expect as much nose probably as we did. When You're gonna get a lot mm -hmm. more bitter than you expect, dude. Yeah, a little grain sweetness I get. I don't get much. Yeah. I, I don't really know what pa a lot about passion fruit. So. I don't either. I don't even know anything about passion. I don't mm -hmm. know passion fruit. <laughs> I give Kel's credit. I mean, I, I've drank it's five not bad. or six. But not bad. Yeah. Um, I can't pick out flavors, though. No. On this no, one. it's very... Muddled. Straightforward. And, well, it's, it's very... Okay, this is a, a hazy IPA. Yeah, you know yeah. all these flavors that they're saying. I don't. I don't get them. I don't get them at all. I, that's just me. Maybe a little bit of like mango or something at yeah. the end. Yeah, kind of yeah, weird, yeah. but when you breathe out or burp yeah. or something, a little bit of. I would say mango. Yeah, most definitely. I love the cab. Oh, excuse me, guys. Tangerine Sorry. and guava. Guava. <coughs> Which mix of tangerine and guava? You got. Mango. No, I don't know. I just picked out a little tan, like a uh, cutie, which is tangerine. Yeah. Cutie, yeah. Mm hmm. It's not bad. Not it's, it's definitely bitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, pardon me. It's definitely bitter. Uh, but it definitely I'm, goes. I'm going to tell you right now you drink three of them, you don't care. <laughs> but it definitely goes with their array of beers because Irish Red. Didn't oh. have a whole lot of nose either. No, no, so. but it, oh, it's so good. It Their is Irish good. red is it's really good. good. I yeah, I, I got the the pleasure of going to Kells over in Seattle when my wife and I went a few years back, and you go in there and it's one. It's exactly what you think of an Irish pub too. It's this dark, dingy, kind of mm -hmm. a little bit funky smelling. Mm -hmm. 
little freaking place and you're expecting leprechauns to run across and they got the traditional Irish food and Irish beers and it, it was really nice. I really like it. I would recommend it, you know, anytime you get a chance to go into a place like that. It's, That's the feel I was getting down here with the red paint on the walls. Like, a little yeah. dingy, but I'm ready to paint them white. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it up a little yeah. Bit. <laughs> or get, at least get a lamp and put yeah. in the corner yeah, or something. something right right there, yeah. So, yeah. No, yeah. it's good. Kells was very dark. Yeah. And it should yeah. That's yeah. been out. Irish pub I want to go into. They had the all old these wood. They, they had a few redhead people sitting out. Yeah. I, I hate to say redhead, but Irish people usually have red hair. A lot of them do, and they were wearing their their caps just like this, and sitting there and, and drinking beers at the bar and drinking Irish whiskey. And and uh, the second time we went in there, actually, the bartender bought me an Irish whiskey when I was. Oh, nice, right on. It's kind of cool. Right on. It was. It wasn't bad. Not a big Irish whiskey guy. Just saying. <laughs> I'm not much of a whiskey guy. I, I, I'm anymore, not a big so. scotch guy either. <laughs> I, bought my, I bought my best friend a bottle of scotch for Christmas. And it's, I don't know. It was like a $100 bottle of scotch or whatever, which is mediocre or whatever. Oh, my gosh. That was so smooth. It was good. No, no, scotch mixed with a little bit of work from the boil kettles. Pretty Ooh, damn good. Hot scotchy. Hot scotchy. Yeah, that's really good. Boy. There, there was a time we did that and forgot what the hell we were doing. That yeah. really didn't turn out, did it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were brewing. Uh, that's the one that had the infection in mm. it. Yeah. The one and only that I remember, maybe, I think there might have been two or three that you total have, have ever had. Yeah, that was an outside brew at a big brew event, yeah, honestly. You never know what you're going to get. And uh, I took two five-gallon corny kegs of beer... To share with everybody and we just sat all day we sat oh we spent God, more time so going around trying everybody's beer and socializing than what we did brewing really he did brewing i don't brew <laughs> i just drink and then when i dry hopped i was sick as can be <laughs> so, oh, wow. my first sour beer not in a good way either no <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, if i remember right it was a lagunitas clone Lagunitas IPA clone. I still have the recipe, so. Oof. That was, I love Lagunitas IPA. I think they've got a very well-balanced mm. IPA. Yeah. Especially that before they got bought out. Yeah. 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 It's not quite as good as it used to be. Mm -mm. Yeah. But uh, I found my old Bruin notebook. Oh, That's yeah. all my old recipes, even extract recipes. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back and start brewing those old, even the extract ones. You're gonna do the act, yeah, yeah, extract or whatever you call it. <laughs> I, I was gonna say abstract ones. The abstract. Funny story. So I got uh, every year I get a Cabela's gift card. So I go on Cabela's, go to the. Who do you get that from? I need to meet, make friends with them. <laughs> My mother-in-law. Oh, there so you normally go. I buy ammunition, but I got plenty of that. Yeah. So I'm going through Cabela's. They have a hobby section. You go up there. There's a brewing section. They sell really. They sell extract brewing kits. Oh, that's great! So I ordered one. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be a fun video. That's yeah. that's gonna be the the two minute brew compared to normal. Uh, it's a German Hefeweizen. Oh, nice. So nice. yeah, should have it, that nice banana taste. I, it, yeah, I hope so. Bro. Banana clovey. Yeah, I like that. I used to hate that. But yeah. I really like that now. That's like Saison's. I, I love Saison's. Mm -hmm. I used to I hate it. Saison, yeah. Sours? Oh, yeah. Man, <laughs> I'm the sour king, man. I'll tell you what. But it's uh, from a homebrew shop called Love to Brew out in New Jersey. Oh, really? Yeah, so it was $5 shipping. That was it. When so. are you supposed to get that? Uh, four to seven weeks. <laughs> So wow. when it shows up to my work, I'll be happy. Like, all right, sweet, you Yay. know. So, yeah. but you know, with everything going on, uh, everything slowed down, and all the homebrew shops, online shops and stuff, are swamped. Really? Oh yeah, there's, oh, there's yeah. people. But everybody's got stuff. free time yeah. now. You know, mm -hmm. that's just like in my profession. <clears throat> Birds jump like a barbecue. <laughs> uh, everybody's buying up the meats because yeah. everybody's at home. I mean, I've noticed. You know, in the last you know two months, that people are just that you know you're you're gonna be home and be able to. Well, oh, I can cook a whole brisket. Yeah, oh, now I'm gonna I cook two time. racks of ribs yeah, and I'm gonna yeah. do this and I'm gonna have fun with my yeah. smoker. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Everybody exactly. got some time. But our uh, main brew out of Hillsboro, 
they uh, I got the ingredient uh, two recipes worth of ingredients within two days I had it here really so you yeah. don't use above the rest anymore no that's just it's all right but it's kind of a pain in the ass yeah. and half time I go in there they and they need a little cuckoo yeah. too <laughs> <laughs> and half time I go in there they don't have what I want so I have yeah. to do a lot of substituting uh, main brew they called me I placed my order on Sunday they called me about an hour later it goes we got your stuff. The only problem is we don't have the yeast you wanted. But we have this yeast. I said, okay, throw that in. No, so, sure. yeah. But other than that, they were... Uh, two Where are they at? Uh, Hillsboro. It's up by uh, sh um, Three Mugs. Um, oh, really? Out that. You go past Three Mugs and over the... Uh, over over past, 26? Yeah, and past the uh, Hop Stadium. Yeah, and yeah. Out there. Oh, I'll be darned. Yeah, it's pretty. And cool. they shipped it to you. Yeah. Oh, well, nice. Which, you know, it was sixteen dollars for shipping. Oh, but, of course. Uh, yeah. That's because it's local. It's <laughs> yeah, shipping yeah, from yeah, China. It's only two ninety five. Uh, next oh. time, I'll probably just go drive over there. Drive over, yeah. I mean, fifteen bucks. You normally waste that much in gas. So oh, it's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. What's this one? This one's kind of cool though, Tim. This is. This one's like called All Together, a worldwide collaboration brewed to support hospitality professionals. And one thing about these beers, uh, the, their can date is 4-27-20. Okay. That was three days ago. How'd they can that three days ago and get it in the store so quick? Uh, because the local store, um, Social Goods Market here in Newburgh, they drove up to their brewery. Oh, to the brewery and got wow. it. I'll oh, be darned. So this is fresh as fresh can get. Yes. Other than sucking it off the, off, off the cow's <laughs> teeth itself. Uh, it doesn't say anything about this other than it's an IPA. 6.5% alcohol. So There you go. In. Screw it. I'm going to put a little water in here. Right. I'm going to rinse this sucker out a little bit. I don't want no yeah. tropical melon or something mm -hmm. coming into some kind of good beer. I'll take a little bit. The thing about a great notion, their nose is always there. They always flavor on the nose. So, so I take it this is they brewed this during all this great times we're having. And spill it, yes, yeah. yes, that's good. Yeah, that mm. Spill it. That's right. Pick it up. That's right. All right. We'll lick it up. <laughs> Don't pick it up. Lick it up. Needless to say, I've had a few beers today. That's good. I'm taking it easy. Boy, that's got that's nice. It's and a hazy. hazy. It's a that's hazy. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's yeah, nice yeah. and hazy. I yeah. like that. Yeah. That smells cool. a lot so, like their other one. So all together. It's even got a little pineapple-y yeah. to it. They do have some of the best labels. You know that? Yeah. That smells a lot like that one. It smells almost identical to that one. But more. Like uh Like it, definitely a cryo hop because it has that hot freshness almost like okay so it's pretty bad when this IPA is less bitter and hoppy than this Pilsner dry hop yeah. Pilsner oh that's, that's good. definitely a hazy IPA yeah it is that's good I mm -hmm. like that I like that a lot a, uh -huh. a whole lot yeah, last six pack. Uh, That's crazy, Monica, isn't it? She drank one and said, that tastes like, or it smells like cat piss. <laughs> and one of the hops they use, Citra, some people think, perceive it as cat piss. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it was great, but. That's wonderful. No, that's great. That's a great yeah. IPA. Yeah. It's got it's a great like, nose. It's almost like drinking juice. Almost like, <laughs> like a fruit juice. I was going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I haven't done that no. in a long time. That's a good hazy IPA. That's nice. It has all the hop freshness. Like, I don't want to say a hop loop blend, but... Uh, it's like there's... you just put a little bit of... of um, you tucked a little bit of a fresh hop right there. <laughs> you kind of have that I flavor. It's kind of a hop drink. bite or oh, whatever. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. I would yeah. drink more of that. I would. That that's really good. I just kind of want to savor that. And it's a very bit. dry. Like it dries out real nice. It's oh, not yeah. like sweet and sticking on you. You know, yeah, it's that's pretty beautiful. good. I like it. I, that's way better than their other one. I don't like their dry hop pills compared to this. Has a little dankiness to it. Mm -hmm. Hop dank. 
I had to try to explain. Oh, that's so good. I had to try to explain to Monica what dank means. <laughs> that had to be fun. Yeah, I said, you she's know, a natural blonde, yeah, said, even though she's got brunette hair. Said dank like weed. I <laughs> said, so, that's right. You're really not a. You've dank never like been weed, a, yeah. a pot smoker. Yeah, pot me neither. Smoker. That's an old man coming out of me. Pot smoker. Did you used to smoke <laughs> marijuana? <laughs> The Cigarettes. Wacky, the <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like it. Mm-hmm. And this Pilsner. That's so far my favorite. Well, there is no, they never canned it. There's no date on it. Oh. But yeah, if you look at them all, and they're all like within, they're April, like April. Most. Yeah. Well, there's a date there. Yeah, yeah. So, it's... Pretty darn fresh. I can't it? read it. I just saw some black <laughs> stuff and I figured, well, that's the date. I got glasses here. It's old person glasses. All right. Uh, I'll get well, a towel. Me. We'll clean up the mess. Then we'll be back right and back. move it on. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. We're here. Uh, a mess cleaned up. A little yep. water down our gullet. And yeah. ready on for my IPA. Okay, great notion. Pineapple pillows. I wonder if it's going to taste like pineapple. Well, so far, all three of them have <laughs> smelled like pineapple, so they got this pineapple thing down. IPA with pineapple. Um, let's see. 7.5% uh, alcohol. Jesus, what's their, their double? <laughs> I think it's like eight and a half, nine. So, there we go. Another cool label. If I didn't know better, you were good. trying to get me drunk. Take advantage of me. Well, maybe. I fed you already, so. <laughs> Go short on it. Oh, no, a little bit more now. All right. There we go. Now, see, it's another hazy one. Another. Uh, honestly, I don't oh, think, I think it's any, great. any brewery knows how to make a clear oh, IPA anymore. <laughs> That's okay though. Ah. You like the clear ones? Yeah. <laughs> Drink Lagunitas IPA. It's oh, clear. I'm very old school. Yeah, so. I like these because it reminds me of when you first started brewing. And they all came out like this. Hmm. It didn't matter if it was a wheat, an IPA, <laughs> a pale ale, a blonde. It didn't matter. My first wheat beer was a honey wheat extract brew. So Ugh. you got honey, or not honey, but a wheat malt extract. And it was dark. They turned out, it was like a, a brown ale <laughs> out of the bottle, but we done it, we drank it at our haunted house. Oh, <laughs> it's pineapple. Wow. Uh, oh yeah, I had the shits for two days yeah. after that. Wow. But that was good. Wow, I was not expecting that. Woo. What do you get on the nose? I get alcohol on the nose. Like a, there's an alcohol bite to it with a can of pineapple. Uh, it, it smells like tinny can pineapple. pineapple yeah. yeah, that's mm. that's all I get. <laughs> Oof, I was not expecting that tang. <laughs> that hit me. It didn't hit you, huh? Mm -mm. It's oh. like pineapple juice, though. So. It really is. It really pineapple is. Pineapple juice out of it's, a can. There's not a ton of bitterness. Mm. Just the bitterness from the tin can. It's a little... Uh, that's seven and a half percent. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a pineapple mimosa kind of thing. You know, like a mimosa's orange, but imagine it with pineapple juice. I could. I don't know if I like it or not. I could get drunk with that in the morning. <laughs> well, <laughs> boy, after you're done, after you take that drink, you know, it's, it does have a little bit of an alcohol bite to it when you mm -hmm. take that drink. But after you take the drink and you're breathing out, it's literally like you opened a can of pineapple and was drinking the juice out of it. Yeah. It's it's very weird. Yeah. Wow. That, that's yeah. It's not bad. It's just I, different. Wow. Almost has like all a, three of them have pineapple and it's like a little bit, a little bit more, and wow. Yeah. <laughs> and the mouth feels almost like a milky, almost like lactose. It dries the roof of my tongue out, mm -hmm. or the roof of my mouth out. No, my, not the roof of my tongue. <laughs> I haven't even, we haven't even got to the strong one yet. Huh. That's very weird. Yeah, yeah. See, I get a little, I get that pineapple fruit kind of sour and a little mm. bit of the danky, but not very much. Very, very tiny bit. No, yeah. 
No hot wood at all. You can get a little bit. A little tiny. I can't anyway. Maybe my maybe it's my breath. I don't know. <laughs> I get like almost like a rubbing alcohol on the nose. Honestly. Yeah. That's what I get on the tongue at first. A little trick. Yeah, still get it. Yeah, it's going to smell like gas. He no, just no. himself. You no, get that I'm just a, messing with you, yeah. It kind of calibrates your nose, too, because this is what you smell like and what you normally smell. It's a little trick they taught us when judging beers in a competition, but I must say that's probably, like, the least favorite Great Notion beer I've had. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. God, it's, like, thick. Mm -hmm. You even look at it, it looks thick. It's almost like... A pineapple milk, juice. Milk stout. Right? Yeah, like pineapple juice. Pineapple milk IPA. <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. But you pour pineapple juice in, in a glass. Make a good marinade. Right out of right out of the can. Mm -hmm. And then pour one of these mm -hmm. and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No, that'd be a good marinade for some oh, ribs or something. Yeah. God, that'd be really good. Inject a pork butt with some of that? Well, I was just going <laughs> to say a pork loin or something. Let it, yeah. let, let it sit for a while. Yeah, that I couldn't drink that. Matter well, fact, I did. The rest of the can would probably be dumped out. Not my favorite. Mm. Not my favorite. Wow. But on hand, though, if you think about it, that right there used to be what double IPA, like, not the flavor, but the mouthfeel of it is yeah. what a double IPA should be. And what do we have next? A double IPA. Okay. But I bet you... I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's gonna either smell or taste like pineapple. <laughs> but honestly it's that technically could be a double IPA. Seven and a half percent. Oh. Oh, there's some hops. Wow. There's some hops. I burped. <laughs> wow. I didn't I didn't care for that one No. Way. Very weird. I haven't had that. From Great Notion, I've never had one I didn't care for. I mean, all of them are really good. This is my favorite so far. I really like that one a lot. All right. Here we go. Double IPA. Oh, you got to show that can. That is a cool <laughs> can. I like that can. It's called Super Glow Double IPA. 8.2% alcohol. 8.2. And this is 7.5, and yeah. that's a regular IPA. Yeah. That doesn't yeah, make yeah, sense no. to me. A regular IPA should be what five, five and a half, six, six to seven. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I uh, most IPAs for me, I think I would cut off about seven. Well, anything above seven would be a double. Uh, anything over not eight and a half, nine would be a trip, like triple, I guess. Imperial, uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Well, Imperial is the same as a double. Oh, it is. Okay. I guess. I mean, who knows? There's extra pale ale too, which is. An IPA. <laughs> you know, know. So, it's just pale ale with more. Uh, oh, that's what IPA is. is. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, Super Glow is a West Coast style double IPA brewed with a rotating selection of hops. So it should be clear. It should be. If it's West Coast, it should be. should be very bitter. You know? That's, I think that's what we need on our palate right now. <laughs> anyway, Super Glow. It's pretty cool. A little rabbit, dude. They make the best stickers. I'll tell you. They, they make great mm -hmm. stickers. Mm -hmm. I'm a little scared of this one. i got to tell you right now. <laughs> no, don't go light on it because it's a... That's good. So you can always dump too, you know. you got to get enough... So well, it's almost clear. It's more clear than, than any of them we've had. Tonight. Except for the poster. <laughs> The Pilsner was really Ooh, good. That's got a weird ass no, smell. That's, it has a little knock. We used to call it back in the day a little bit of haze to it, but now you can't say that because of all the goddamn hazy IPAs. But It yeah. smells kind of like a dirty diaper. The smell was a little off putting when I opened the can, so. Let's it's. See. Oh, it smells like an old Pampers. It's so bad to say that. I don't like that smell. God. Uh -oh. Anybody who's ever had kids knows what I'm talking about. A dirty freaking diaper. <laughs> a Pampers. You know, you got that plastic and poop and pee. 
and that's what it smells like. It smells more like the bee and the and the di and the plastic than the, no poop. But and you thought I was weird when I said that smells like vomit or tastes oh my like vomit God. or tastes like earwax. Doesn't that smell like a damn yeah, old dirty diaper? <laughs> Anything, anything. There's a little tropical. Uh, oh, God, but Jesus, it smells like damn plastic and piss. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh I gotta God. put that in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It, it can be great tasting. It's a little farty. Yeah. Farty and plastic and piss. <laughs> farty. Farty. It does have a weird nose to it. Uh, dig deep. Oh, I am not drinking no more of no. that. Mm. Oh boy! It tastes just like it smells. I would say like a maybe a. If you ever had centennial on hops that went a little cheesy, that's what it kind of smells like. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> that was a big swallow there. It's like. Force myself to make it no, go down. It's a very alcohol bite to it. Yeah, but it's big time. Uh, and then there's a slickness on the tongue, like very slick on the tongue. Not a lot of flavor, like diapers and piss. No, Plastic I don't pick up that. Yeah. But no, it's it's. I well, I'm getting that smell through my nose now. I'm getting like a citrus, uh, like a cheesy citrus hop, basically. Uh, Anybody that brews knows what an old old hop smells like. Like a, when Centennial Cascade goes a little cheesy, I bet you that it's a very heavy dose of Centennial hop. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more little sip. But it's yeah. better than the last one, I think. But. Oh, I don't think so. This one's better. It's that damn smell. It's like cat fizz or something. I think it's that. so off putting to me. It's like very uh, off putting. I'm not saying that smells like cat fizz. It smells more like plastic and, and piss. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hold on. We'll be right back. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay right there. Maybe we'll be right there. What the hell are you doing? A little hop time. Huh? A little bit of hop time here. These are Cascades. Is that what's in here? Ah, Centennial. I, I bet it's a Centennial Cascade. Uh, to me, what's it's the a, difference between Centen Centennial and Cascade? Centennial is like a hopped up Cascade. Kind of thing. So. No, go like this with your hand. And smell them. It's gonna smell like plastic and piss? No, 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 no. You get a little citrus. You know, oh, that smells wonderful. It smells like fucking like weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that smells great. What okay. do you want me to do with these? Oh, Put them in my beer. Yeah. We'll just throw them away. Oh, them smell good. I like that. Yeah. Am I getting some more? Yeah. What's this? An older hop. Now smell. Same thing? Sm no. Some a little bit different, but. Oh, no. now that smells like piss. <laughs> yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. That smells like plastic and piss. Yeah, but you know, you understand what oh, I'm saying. Oh, don't throw this away, huh? No. I'm going to shove one up my nose. Good luck on that. Oh, but, my God. That smells good. I like it, that. It kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's got that, like, older. Old, yeah. Mm -hmm. they kind, kind of, of a musky kind of. And almost like a uh, Parmesan uh, cheesy kind of yeah. sweat sock cheesy. Amanda cheesy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's, that's why I had to go get these for you. Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> Plastic and piss right there. Anyway, it's a little experiment there, but and that's what I'm talking about when they turn kind of cheesy, like almost. God, that that nose <clears throat> is so off-putting to me. I, you know, if it if it didn't have any nose, I might be able to drink it. I'm gonna try one more. The problem is also it has, I mean, it's high alcohol, so you expect that alcohol bite. And... That's a lot of alcohol bite to it, though. But 
I'm gonna put mine right down here because I'm done drinking plastic. Definitely has a mouthfeel of a double IPA. How oh. cold I did double IPA. I have a lot of water. You like yeah. that too? Yeah, it's not the best double IPA I've had. Triceratops, hops, so still one of the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the old Tricera hops. Well, it's got some nice malty. Look at it. Look. Yeah. Looks yeah. like whiskey coming down like this. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. They only say it's eight and a half. Maybe a little more. That's what I thought about the last one. It's like I don't think it's only seven and a half. No, mm -hmm. no. This one was the best one so far. Mm. Yeah, we'll dump the rest of that one out. And then it's dessert time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about the last one, I gotta tell you right now. You know, uh, this last one, I found it in Safeway. $3.99 a can, and I thought, oh God, who the hell would spend $3.99 a can? But I said, oh, my daughter likes chocolate milk stouts, so I thought, <clears throat> Got to get one of them and share it with her. I didn't want to share it after I tasted it, but <laughs> I did. And then I ended up buying two cases, two 24 packs from the local tap room. And uh, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, that's a good beer. Almost like the time we got that Belgian Beaver peanut butter, butter milk stout. Uh, they so have that. Uh, uh, I think she has it on tap over yeah. Mac Taps too. I almost brought a a little thing of it. <laughs> But this one here is, is called Coca Cow. And uh, it's from. Um, uh, I don't know, it's a good segue. Sun River? Sun River Brewing. <laughs> I had to look. I had to look. I can see from there. But it's Sun River Brewing. Same and brewing. this thing is absolutely amazing. I gotta tell you, I'll let you read it. It's, it's, oh, it's so good. Same brewing, a brewery that we got our Super Bowl Fuzz Tail Hefeweizen. I love Sun River Brewing. I truly do. They haven't made one beer that I don't like yet. And then that, that was the first Super Bowl I've never brewed for. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> I didn't even. For a long time. I lost track, so. Oh. It contains lactose, lightly sweet chocolate milk stout with G-H-A-N-A. -A. Gahana. Ghana. Ghana. Cocoa Nibs. 7% uh, alcohol, 28 IBUs. Sun River Brewing Company, Sun River, Oregon. I didn't just bring one, I brought four because I knew he would like it too. I need something good. This 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 beer is like drinking a freaking chocolate milkshake and a chocolate cake all together and it's mm. so delicious. These beers I, I feel you gotta pour correctly to get a lot ahead. Honestly, I made this, or I took this. Beer. I made this beer. I, made this beer. <laughs> we'll finish how pretty off. that is. I uh, nice. we nice like color. this beer so much, my daughter Dark. and I, that her birthday was the other day, and uh, I went and uh, she says she looked at her husband and says, "I want you to make me a cake out of this for my birthday," and and he goes, he he told her he says, "Well, you can make a cake out of it for your birthday," and so without her knowing. I made a cake out of it. And the best way to do it is if you have a good chocolate cake recipe from scratch, wherever it calls for milk, buttermilk, or water, add this. It was a freaking amazing cake. So, you like that? You like that, Dan? <laughs> it's milk chocolate. Yeah, milk that's, chocolate on the nose. It's, it's going to taste like Nestle Quick. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. It smells like it, yeah. Mm. I'll sit here and just smell it. Oh. Yeah, but it won't do it justice until you taste it. Because it tastes then it tastes like dark chocolate. Crazy. It's so good. Creamy. It's it's exactly what you expect out of a milk stout. Mm-hmm. But it's not thick and heavy. Yeah, you like that? Mm-hmm. I, I knew you'd like it because it reminds me a lot about the Belgian beaver. Belgian beaver. Without, yeah. you know, or if you the... take out the peanut butter out of the Belgian beaver. Yeah. Well yeah, yeah. I absolutely love this. It beer. has a nice roastiness, though. So. Oh. Very good roasty, little tobacco-y. Nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, 
best way to end it. Honestly, how is it's dessert. Here? It's dessert right We've there. We've had pineapple and chocolate today. <laughs> <laughs> and, and piss and plastic. <laughs> plastic, and pe- plastic and piss. That's what it tastes mm-hmm. like to me. Sorry. No, no. I mean, we don't bag on people, but if we don't like it or we just say what we taste. I mean. I will tell you that Sun River. Mm-hmm. Honestly. They're doing a hell of a job. They... I, I don't, there's only been a handful of milk stouts that I've ever drank that I've liked this much. Mm-hmm. And, and as soon as I got it, I said, Very oh, good. when we decided to do this, I said, I'm bringing one. I don't care if we have all IPAs. And guess what? We pretty much had all IPAs <laughs> with, with the exception of a hoppy builder. A hoppy builder. <laughs> so. so, yeah, it's, the Very cocoa good. nibs are great. The Ghana mm-hmm. cocoa nibs, they're, they're a dark chocolate. Mm. Amazing. It's it's not thick. It's very it evaporates off your tongue like you want a good beer. To where it drinks like a a regular beer. It tastes way. creamy, mm-hmm. but it's light. That's mm-hmm. what's really it, it's amazing because a lot of times you get these damn milk stouts and stuff, and they're either way light and not creamy, or they're yeah. way creamy and they're heavy yeah. and they're thick. Either not enough lactose or too much. Yeah. And to me, that's just right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Glad you like it. Great lacing, too. Pretty. It's beautiful. Beautiful mm-hmm. beer. Look at that. Mine's all the way up from where I was drinking. Look at that. And this is actually something you can drink during the summertime. I didn't catch the, what's the IBUs on that? Or the, yeah. the alcohol and stuff. It says on there someplace. It's 7% alcohol, 28 mm-hmm. IBUs. And that 7%, you know, and a few of these, mm-hmm. and you feel no pain. Yeah, Trust yeah. me, I know. They go easy. Well, I yeah. mean, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's a good dark beer. Oh, I like good. it. I like it a lot. That's good because I'm going to drink one more and then leave the other two with you. That's good. I'll drink them. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll dump some pills there in it. No. There you go. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like cool. it. It's just got that nice, you know, yeah, at first you get that like Nestle quick kind of nice creamy sweet chocolate and then you get this dark chocolate and this roastiness at the mm-hmm. end. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. So, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's tobacco, roasty. See, I don't get tobacco. Mm, I get that nice, nice coffee, bitter, mm. kind of chocolate, mm. dark chocolate. It's that dark chocolate, that ca- cacao. Cacao! <laughs> <laughs> I get I like plum, raisin, yeah. dark fruit to me. But in a good I mean, way, I guess I couldn't drink, you know, 20 of these, but I, I probably do. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink a few. <laughs> But you know, I'm before dinner. <laughs> after dinner's great. It's just one by a fire yeah. after yeah. dinner. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Fall asleep with it in your hand, kind of thing. Yeah. No, oh. oh, it's great. Great. That's my favorite tonight. Th- this I'll would be this right would now. be great roasted marshmallows. And doing mm-hmm. s'mores out by the campfire, <laughs> drinking this while eating a s'more. Oh my god. Oh, we make yeah. s'mores when we camp. With Reese's peanut butter cups. Hell yeah, make them with caramelas too. <laughs> yeah, do them with the caramelas yeah. with the caramel. Do they oh. make those candy bars anymore? Yeah, they do. <laughs> uh. That's my favorite beer tonight. It, and well, I can tell you right now, it's my favorite beer. I knew it before we started. No, <laughs> actually, I didn't because I had high hopes. I've had this one. I haven't had any of the others except for the these two. And uh, this one was my second. Uh, this one was second. I haven't had any of these. Yeah. That's what really yeah, none. First time today. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'd go definitely this, and then toss up between these two. Yeah, see me. It's this, then this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good beers. Good beers. Mm-hmm. On that right. note, guess we're done. Guess that's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a whap. You're waiting Not on Not a whap. It's a whap. No. <laughs> oh, that's good. Very good, yeah. Anyways. Well, I guess it was well. good seeing y'all. Love your family. Love your friends. <laughs> Love your beer even more. Cheers. Cheers.